Hi everyone, welcome to this teen and twin yoga class with Maggie today. Let's start from simple sitting position, cross your legs and bring your hands on your knees and close your eyes. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose and let it go. Breath out. Okay, inhale. And exhale. And just calm your body. Try to calm your mind. Slowly open your eyes. And welcome to your practice. So inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, let's stretch to one side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the other side. Just a little reminder here. So your bottom gonna just keep uh, sitting on the mat all the time. Okay, so inhale, come back to center and relax. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers and a nice shoulder opening pose. Here, look up toward the sky and relax your head, your neck. And relax. Okay, from here, bring your hands in front of you and then roll your body, transition to a tabletop position. There we go. So just another reminder here, spread your fingers wide. Uh, that way we can protect our wrist. So spread your fingers wide, knees wide, wide about your hips, wide distance. And let's do a cat and cow flow, okay? Inhale, draw your back down low, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hug yourself in, draw your head down low. So inhale, look up, cat and cow pose. Exhale, look down. That is cat pose. Okay, if you want, just if you want to. So uh, inhale. Come to the cow, or you can make a cow song if you like. Ooh. And then exhale, drop your head down low. If you want, you can make a little meow song. And the last cat and cow flow. And then slowly back to neutral position, back to tabletop position. Okay, from here, we're gonna do a balancing table. Another fun way we can do a partner yoga pose. So extend your opposite arm and the opposite leg, right? Okay, so if you face with your family members, or with your sibling, you can high five, okay? And exhale, release. Inhale, extend. And exhale, release. One more time for each side. If you do it just by yourself, like Maggie, like me, we'll just stay here a couple of breaths. Okay? And then exhale, release. Inhale. And exhale. Great. So from here, we're going to curl your toes under. Inhale, hips up to a downward facing dog. So here, everyone is different. Okay, some, some people are really uh, flexible, so their heels can root down, their heels can touch, touch the mat. But if you cannot do that, uh, maybe just in the morning, maybe you're doing that in the morning, so you're do your uh, strength a little bit tight, that's okay. Keep your knees bent and straight your arms, that's okay. Okay, that's all perfectly fine. So relax your head, relax your neck. So you can imagine you have a tail, right? Downward jaw, right? So you can move your body side to side, or just kind of like a walking dog on your yoga mat. Okay, 
if you want to make a doggy song or a poppy song, go ahead. Right? Like, right? It's fun. Okay, from here, we're going to lift your left foot up to a three leg down dog. Okay? And then actually release. Switch. Right foot up, three leg down dog. And then relax. All right. And then from here, we're going to shift your body forward. And then here's an option. If you feel I have a strong core, okay, you can keep your legs straight and then shift your body forward until your shoulder over your wrist. And then hug your elbows in slowly and you can feel your core engaged. And then you'll come down, right? And light, lying down your stomach your belly okay if you said i i don't i i can't all right but that's okay another option here right so sh uh, lower the knees down and then shift your body forward and then hug your elbows in and come down lying down your stomach oh good they're just different option okay no pressure okay from here we are come to a cobra so inhale, come up, cobra. Also another uh, shoulder opening pose. Oh, we can make a little bit fun way to do this cobra pose, uh, which is slowly swing your body side to side. Super fast ball cobra. Or like pretend you're cobra, talking like cobra. Okay, just make a little bit fun. All right, come back to center, but just remind yourself, okay? So bring your shoulders away from your ears. We're not like that, okay? That's gonna hurt us. Okay, shoulder away from your ears. And exhale, relax. Okay. We're gonna make a little pillow with our hands. Just rest your either forehead on your hands or rest your temple on your hands. And close your eyes just to relax. Just to focus on your breath. Breathing. Okay, we're gonna slowly open your eyes. We're gonna come back to a cobra pose. So hands are by the side. Remember, shoulders away from your ears. So inhale, come up to cobra. And then exhale, option one, uh, to curl your toes under and then up to downward facing dog. So option two, I'm going to show you here, you don't have to curl your toes under from cobra, right? So just a flat like that. And then push up to a downward facing dog. So again, no pressure, just find the uh, choose the one is work best for your body okay so we're come back to downward dog and then and then we're gonna lift your left foot up again three leg down dog okay this time a little bit different we're gonna bend the knees and then bring your knees forward come to this is called a pigeon pose so you can do that when you feel a little bit stressed you want to calm down your body. So we're going to lay your body, lower your body, and then rest your forehead either on your hands or on the mat, on the yoga mat. And just close your eyes. Everything's going to be fine. Focus on yourself. Deep breath in and then 
deep breath out. Deep breath in. And then come back up. Curl your back toes under. And then come back up to downward facing dog. Great. Again, draw your hat down low. Relax yourself. Let's switch to the other side, okay? Lift your right foot up. And then bend the knees. Knees forward between your palms. So another sleeping, beautiful sleeping pigeon pose. And then rest in here. When you're ready, inhale, come back up. And then curl your toes and then come back up to a downward facing dog. Draw your heart down low. This time, we're going to three, two, one, bend the knee, jump forward. Yeah. So you can call this pose a froggy pose. So we can pretend like a froggy we can pop. Rub it, rub it. So we can to one side, two times, two steps, move back to center, and then to the right side. There we go. You can make a saw, rub it, rub it if you like. Okay, come back to center. So inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly trace your legs. Come back up. Okay, we're gonna draw big circles with your arms, palms together, and then back to a mountain pose. Rest your hands on by the side. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna do a moon pose. This time you also can do a pana yoga with your family. Family or you, yeah, of course, with your sibling. So inhale, raise your arms up toward the sky and exhale to a moon pose. So double moon pose. If you're a sibling or your family, other family member beside you, so you can do a double moon pose. So inhale, come back to center, exhale to the other side. Okay, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, relax. And then let's do one more time, okay? Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, to one side. Inhale, to the center. Exhale, to the other side. Beautiful. Okay, last. Inhale, come back to center this time. Exhale, we're going to transition, bend your knees, transition, big circle to a chair pose. Okay, so if your family member beside you, so all of you are going to move and then you face together, okay? If you have a, like three person do it together, so you can do a treble, like one, two, three person do the chair pose. Okay, so you can do a high five, okay? Or just holding hands, holding each other's hands, do a double chair pose. Great. Awesome. We're gonna stay here. You might feel here, yes. Your leg muscle is working. Okay, inhale. <sighs> Exhale, relax. And then relax. Okay, let's bring your hands together in front of your heart. And then namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And I hope you'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.